Tour and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for our main event. Eight rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Flush left hand. Finish him off. Yeah, finish him off. He is not in good shape. He could be big, big shot comes crashing home. Knocked down by a hook. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Good, solid right hand he lands there. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of them. A guy that's gonna move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Last 10 seconds of this first round. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them, and he's responding just that way. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Blocking a score. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Hackman's crushed by a right hand. Wow, I like what he's doing right here, Teddy. He's just taking control of this fight. Hurt his opponent already. Now he's pushing him around, trying to get another shot in. Yeah, he wants to get full leverage. He wants to get him right in a position where he can nail him a shot and finish this. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go 
out there now. Come on now, let me see it. Hackman's left now getting into the mix. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Oh, he is stunned, he could go down. Come on, Jack, get out of there, don't let him hit you, don't let him hit you. Pushing his opponent back, he's just looking for some room to connect again. Yeah, it looks a little bit like George Foreman when he was in there with Joe Frazier. Harry. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Joe, so this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Good, okay, we got you're good out there. Now breathe, breathe. Now listen, right. he threw a oh, wild yeah, punch and he nice caught you. Now tighten up your punches, all right? We don't need that. Let's go that way. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is... No he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. <laughs> Solid. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Pac-Man. Left to the body. Nice work. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, Punch boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming. Big shot, the left crashed home. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck and mode. Big shot. Wow, he goes down again. For the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four, five. And it's all over. Hackman's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. <laughs> Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent yeah two ways you could criticize his opponent one is that obviously his technique was not right and that came from training camp but the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right i mean he came out cold there was no sweat on him and he got starched for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great evening